Olá, meus amigos! Hi, my friends. Mark here with Walter's World, and we're in Lisbon, Portugal, in the heart of Lisbon. My five years living here, my youngest son was born here. Love this place. So basically, what you should know about Portugal before you visit Portugal. Now, the first thing most people want to know is the language. What do I need to speak there? Well, I can't believe how many people have told me, well, oh, you're going to Portugal, so you speak Spain. I'm like, no, they speak Spain and Spanish in Spain. We speak Portuguese in Portugal. Yes, it's kind of similar to Spanish, and if you speak Spanish, you'll probably be able to read the menu and be okay. But you know what? Gracias is not, they don't say that here. They say obrigado is thank you here, okay? So the language here is Portuguese. However, Portuguese are fantastic in English. The young people all speak English very, very well, so you'll be okay with that. Of course, you want to learn some basic words. Hola is hello. Obrigado is thank you. Um, por favor is please. So some things sound similar to Spanish and look similar and some are different, okay? Now, the next thing you want to look at is if you're a tourist, you want to say, what's the money like here? Well, in, they don't use the escudos anymore, okay? They use the euro here, okay, in Portugal. And basically, the euro comes in a 500 euro note, which you'll never use here, 200 euro note, which you'll never use here, 100 euro note, again, you won't use here because people won't have change, 50 euros notes, 20 euros, 10 euros, and a 5 euro note. And the thing is, with the euro, your coins are actually worth something. If you have a handful of euro coins, you got some money. And Portugal is a very affordable place, so those coins go a long way. Now, where are you going to get your money out? You'll see when you go around Portugal, there are ATMs and banks all over the place. ATMs, you can use your cards there just fine. Have your PIN number. And they give you out small denominations, usually in 10s and 20s. I mean, I was at the, at the airport yesterday and got money out. It gave me, I got 200 euros, because sometimes they limit how much you can take out. And so I got 20 tens. Okay, but that's good because if you take a taxi here, which is super cheap, and even if they rip you off, it's still cheap, you're still not paying more than 20 euros. If you have a 50, they're like, I'm sorry, I don't have any change. Okay, so very affordable place. You can get your money from the ATMs, no problem, and they use the euro. So a nice, easy thing. I would say Portugal's 30% cheaper than a typical US vacation, so that's why a lot of people like to come here. It's really affordable and really great stuff to do here. A lot of people say, okay, we're talking about money, let's talk about food and, and, and buying things, what can I do? You can use your credit cards pretty much anywhere here. Have a, have a PIN number if you need one, or make sure you can sign your, your name. You're pretty easy with that one. If you have the chip card, make sure you have a PIN number with it. Um, in terms of going out to eat, when you eat here in Portugal, breakfast is in the morning. You're gonna have that in the hotel. It's usually a very light breakfast. Lunch is usually from about 12.30 till about 3 and Portuguese like to have nice long lunches like I was at a business lunch yesterday three hours long because you have a starter well first you talk for a long time then you have some water maybe some wine and then you have a starter then you have a main course course and the food here your fish there's fantastic fish here a robalo dorado sea bream, bream and bass is fantastic they have a lot of local dishes a lot of seafood marisco, some really great food here um, if you want like pork or beef, something like that. Porco preto or black pork is a really good thing here. The desserts here are fantastic, so you eat really well. But what you need to know about the food is if you want to eat at five in the afternoon, you're going to have to go to a more of a tourist place, okay? The Portuguese tascas or the local restaurants, they close their kitchens between three and about seven. So you can eat lunch there from 12 to three, no problem, and from dinner from seven till almost midnight in some places. But just know, if you want to eat it between 3 and 7, you're going to like touristy places because the restaurant will be open, but the kitchen staff won't be there. Okay, so you need to know that. So dinner time, after 7 o'clock, sometimes 8 o'clock, all right? Now, when you pay, you might say, well, do I tip my waiters when I'm, when I'm there? No, traditionally in Portugal, you do not tip. However, this is a very affordable place, so you can leave some money. They'll appreciate it because they need it, believe me, but also because it's a nice thing to do. But if you don't have the money, you do not have to tip in Portugal, okay? But it's always nice to leave a little something for the people. Talked a little bit about the food. What about some things you want to drink here? Portugal is famous for its port wine, but you don't traditionally drink port wine with your meal. That's like an after drink sweet thing. And you don't drink a lot of when you're here. It's more of an exported out. What you're going to drink here is the normal wine here. The, the red wines and the white wines are fantastic. They're very, very cheap. Not affordable, they're cheap here. And they're good. All the wine is great here in Portugal, so you'll be okay. But probably the best wine to try when you are here is the Vinho Verde, or the green wine. It's a young white wine that has a little 
little bit of bubbles. I'd say it's like 25% champagne, 75% white wine, and it just has this great flavor. And it's You always drink it really, really cold. It is so good. When they bring it to your table, they might bring a sleeve for it so it stays chilled. It's fantastic. That's the one thing you got to drink when you're here. Now, another thing you should know about when you go out to eat in Portugal is the fact that when the bread is on the table and the butter is on the table and the olives are on the table, if you're coming from the U.S., you're used to that being free. Well, in Portugal, those things aren't free. You have to pay for the bread. You have to pay for the butter. You have to pay for the olives. So what might seem like an easy six or seven euro meal can easily turn into 15 because you ate those things on the table. Now, if you don't want those, or you don't want to pay for those, you say no thank you and they'll take them away and they won't charge you for them, okay? Because just they put it on the table you don't have if you don't eat it they won't charge you for it okay just so you know that but if you pick up one of that bread you're paying for all the bread you pick up the butter what one pat of butter you're paying for that one pat of butter so be ready for that that's kind of one of those things that shock tourists when they come here and we actually have a video 10 things that'll shock you about Portugal and we explain more about those things there okay now in terms of service Portuguese they usually speak English pretty well or they'll get by service is pretty nice here if you're coming from Northern Europe it's fantastic compared to Northern Europe so you'll be okay with that so that's why you don't really mind giving them some tips because they're actually pretty nice people and they help you out with stuff so hey why not help them out with a little tip because they actually do give you a decent service here one of the things that's really different about Portugal is they have a very late culture. Things don't start early in the morning. It starts later in the day and goes into the night. So if you want to do some shopping, you can go to the mall until midnight. You want to see a movie at 2 in the morning in cities like Lisbon? You can do that on the weekends. It's not that uncommon. It's very much a more late night culture. So be ready for that in terms of, remember, you're eating and going out and doing things. And if you're going to go out, no one goes out. Young people don't go out before 11 or 12 at night. So you're going to Barrio Alto, the cool par party district here, the bar district here, and you show up at 11 on a Friday you're like man this is just tourists this place sucks just wait another hour then the Portuguese come out and you get the Tugas dancing and all kinds of stuff it's really fun okay so but no it's just a later start here now another thing you want to look at are the plugs now here in Portugal they have the two circle plugs just like the rest of continental Europe no problem there if you have those if you got a laptop or a computer stuff like that you already have the converter on it this is just an adapter you plug on the end to change from this in the US to this here in Portugal now the next thing you want to know is maybe uh, the public transport. Public transport in Portugal goes lots of places. The buses, the metros, the subways, trams and stuff like that. You can get around very easily in the country. You don't have to drive because, oh my God, the Portuguese drivers are crazy. If you take a taxi in Portugal, you understand it's white knuckle driving. So see the public transport still could be a little nerve-wracking but just know public transport is affordable it goes everywhere and you feel a little bit safer when you do it okay don't get me wrong Portugal's super safe but when they drive you get a little scared all right and the last thing I'll talk about are the toilets now here in Portugal normal sit-down toilets what you'll have is probably two circles one inside of another one like this if you push both of them at the same time that's for number two if you just put the lip push the little one that's number one also they have the bidets here so if you know how to use a bidet good job if you don't know how to use a bidet, well, teach your kids how to pee in it if they're little. That's what we did. <laughs> but honestly, they have those in most of the hotels, most of the places like that. They have the bidets, smaller showers in the hotels, so be prepared for that. But overall, good experience. Um, if you want to learn more about coming to Portugal, five things you're going to love and hate about Portugal, or five things you're going to love and hate about Lisbon, ten things that will shock you about Portugal, we have it all on our website at waltersworld.com. And if you like videos like this, comparing it, what should I know before I go to Germany or, or Spain or things like that, you know, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel and videos like this show up in your feed every week because we try to travel as much as we can so we can get videos out from all over the world. Anyway, I want to say thank you or obrigado for watching, viewing, subscribing, clicking that like button down there or that subscribe button. Really, obrigado. Thank you so much. And we wish you have a great time here in Portugal because it is fantastic. You really should come here. It's awesome. Okay? So, adeus from Lisbon, Portugal or Lisboa as we call it here in Lisbon. Adeus.